Raymond, are you excited? Very excited today. What are we doing? Fucking finally upgrading this piece of shit suspension I've had over for like two years. What is it? <clears throat> BC coilovers. Damn. So, you got tired of your BCs and you're finally upgrading to some real boy coilovers, which are these stance, and yeah. What made you hate the BC so much? It's something that every single BC owner experienced, including me. I had four sets, they all did the same thing. We'll just show them. And you got tired of that? Yeah, I did actually. But yeah, BCs have an issue where they always uh, tend to clunk. I've had BCs on like an E46 and a bunch of other cars, including my dad's EcoBoost Mustang that we don't talk about, but that one also does the same thing where it clunks. And yeah, because of that, we're finally upgrading to Stance because their uh, in-house brand of TF works and TF is kind of the homies. We have a lot of friends that have worked there or worked there, so shout out you guys. And then also, I have Stance on my car, Matt has Stance on his car, John has Stance, et cetera, et cetera. We all run Stance. They're better. Except for this one. Even this cheaper. one has blown BCs. Put this one on the list. But yeah, so what we're going to be doing today is swapping out his BC coils for Stance XR1s. And then Raymond also got the little socks for him because he has a lot of snow in these California roads, I guess. I don't know. I'll be traveling. And, and then we got uh, the sway bar end links that came with it, the extenders for the rear. And then he also got, what'd you get? Rear lower control arms. Why'd you get rear lower control arms? Because I'm going to go wide body soon. That, okay, that makes no sense. <laughs> but yeah, he got PVM lower control arms because he thinks they look pretty, even though he doesn't need them because he was them. able to get his alignment exactly where it needs to be with the stock arms, but he thought they looked pretty, even though he can't see it because the Futago rear bumper will cover. What we're gonna be doing today is swapping all this out, refreshing it because we're tired of how clunky and broken this car sounds all the time. And we know that you could repair BCs by replacing the top hats, but we do not feel like replacing it and then having the same thing happen again. Especially knowing from our experience with these coilovers that they will start clunking again. Ready? Yes. Sir. Actually, wait, 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 one more thing. What are the spring rates? Why are you, why are you starstruck? <laughs> Cause, so they're supposed to be 8K in the front, 8K in, in the rear. But then when we read the springs, oh, they're all covered. Now there's, you can see these two in the front. For some reason, all the springs say they're 7K. So we're not sure if that's like, uh, we're just not gonna think about it. The springs say they're 7K, the website says they're supposed to be 8K, but whatever, right? Whatever. So Raymond is jacking up the car right now so we can start replacing everything. But there is one thing I forgot to mention about stance that I like a lot. The fronts are normally uh, inverted shocks. So the thicker part is actually on top and the rod that goes in it is in the sh shock body, which makes it stronger. And because of that, it does make the adjustment knob on the bottom instead of the top, but it does make the coilover a lot stronger. There are some stands that aren't like this. Like if you guys watched the video of us doing Matisse's subframe bushings, you would have seen we put stands on his car and they weren't inverted. But yeah, that's another bonus to stands that I like a lot. And I'll get back to you once we're ready to keep going. All right, so we're doing the fronts right now. It's pretty easy. The biggest thing that a lot of people make a mistake of is before you start unbolting the bolts on the knuckle or the top hat right here, you wanna make sure you disconnect the sway bar end links because if you don't, then the suspension is still linked to the other side and it's gonna make it so it doesn't wanna droop down so you can pull the coilover out. So the first thing Raymond is doing right now is he's pulling off the sway bar end link and then we'll unbolt it from the knuckle and then we'll pull it off the top. Like what? No, it's just hella blown. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean by BCs are trash. Their top hats always blow out like this. And this is the side that didn't even clunk. This is the other side. That was still quiet. What do you think? <laughs> and that's why we upgraded to the big boys. Look at the difference in quality. You got this thin ass metal, this beefy ass thing with hella support on the brackets and then like the difference. And then Okay, this collar, 
This side didn't clunk. This collar must have came loose and spun down, but look at the top hats. Like, I'm literally speechless. Versus, look how like thick and reinforced these top hats are, and then how good these ball joints are compared to, or pillow balls are compared to this. And on top of that, for the sway bar end links, on the BCs, they come with these, which are a little shorter than OEM, so they could fit with a lower car, which is good. And the adjustments are here in the middle, but these just use like an OEM style ball joint. And to take them out, you just put an Allen key in the middle, hold it with the wrench and take it out. And the stance, they're a lot nicer because they came with these Heim joint sway bar end links that use a pillow ball instead of a ball joint. So a lot less deflection, a lot better. We like it. You get what you pay for, right? Of course. On the other side, I showed that we disconnected the ABS sensor, which is right here off the coilover, Fuck. by just pulling it out. And then I disconnected the brake line just by undoing a 12 mil bolt that's back here and then take it off the coilover so it could come out. And yeah, I forgot to explain it, but that's how you take it out. You want to do that before undoing the bolts because you don't want to put strain on the sensor or the brake line. It's weird how the one that clunks is stiffer, huh? So what do you think now that we got everything out and you can see everything that was destroyed? You could just fucking compare right there. We already did. But what do you think about the fact that two years ago, I warned you about this. I literally said, do not buy VCs. The top hats always blow out, they clunk. And then it literally happened to you. That was because we weren't getting money back then. <laughs> it was now like a $200 difference for the coilovers no, back then. Now it's a $1,000 difference. <laughs> <laughs> do you regret it? A little bit, but, but we're getting money now. You're getting money now, but you lost it all the difference of getting coilovers twice. <laughs> We upgrading though. A do you look bit. back at past Raymond and be like, fuck, I fucked up? A little bit, yeah, I do. <laughs> I could yeah. got something way better. If anyone wants these blown BC coilovers, just DM Raymond. Uh, 1200 bucks, he knows what he got. 1200 Okay, but yeah, now we're going to put the new stance on after we set the height and everything. And we'll just put the dampening at 16 out of whatever, I think 32. Whatever's in the middle, we'll put it there. We'll set the height the same as whatever it's at right now and we'll throw them in. And we'll just keep going until we get to the rear where we're, I could already tell this is gonna be a pain to install because I don't know why PBM does this. There are four different locking nuts on this one like adjustment. There's a fucking clamp like a bicycle seat right there. There's another one right here. There's a locking Thing for the Heim and there's another locking thing for the Heim. There is no reason you need that many. You need like six different tools to adjust that arm. Yeah, you have them all. But, okay, think about when you take this to, <laughs> shout out Hayward Alignments, shout to Hayward, Hayward Alignments, Alignments and they look at it and they're like, what the fuck is this? I have to pay extra, I guess now. But yeah, now we're just gonna throw the fronts in, get to the rear and then hopefully Raymond could leave my house because I'm tired of looking at this car. What the fuck, you have this car right here too? Dude, okay. this is a story for another day. You guys will see, if you guys watch the manual swap IS300 videos, this is the car now. <laughs> Hope you guys like the car, cause this is it now. We'll have a story about what happened and fixing it later. Wait, so when you adjust the dampening? Oh, the dampening. Okay, well, hang on. When you put this bolt on, I'll explain it to you real quick. All right, so Raymond was asking why the dampening adjustment is at the bottom now. And I kind of explained it briefly, but this is the dampening adjustment right here at the bottom of the coilover. The reason it's at the bottom is because a normal coilover or a shock, the rod that goes into it is on the top. But on stance, they put the thicker body on the top where the spring is and they put the rod at the bottom which switches where the adjustment is and the reason they do that is because the body itself is a lot stronger than the rod if you were to look at like the bc's for example right here you could see if i move the boot out of the way how thin this is and this is the only thing supporting this entire section of the suspension like this is what's holding it all together and also these cars do not have a spindle or a upper control arm so all of the weight of the car is resting on the shock itself and that's basically what's supporting the suspension from like deflection 
so you do want that area to be a lot stronger which is why i like stance because you could see how much nicer it is to have the body reinforcing this area versus the shock uh part like look at the difference in thickness thank you justin no problem all right so what happened was a dirty engine bay. yeah i know so what happened was we put the coilover on this side as you guys seen and we picked left and right based on the top hats because they are different but they're not labeled and then when we were starting to continue putting them together we realized the sway bar end link was on the wrong side the brake line bracket and abs sensor bracket was on the wrong side so the bodies were on the wrong side like we had the left side body on the right side but we also had the right side top hat on the right side so we were kind of confused for a bit so we called our friend justin to help verify what happened and what happened was someone when they were assembling these accidentally put the top hat for the right side on the left body and the left body uh or and the, vice versa so what we're going to do real quick is take these allen keys off on the top hats and just switch them left and right not that big of a deal it just kind of threw us off and also the fact that the coilovers aren't labeled left and right kind of threw us off obviously there was a mistake but we're moving on Okay. Here's one. Now Raymond will get the other off and I'll show you why there was an issue. All right, Raymond just got the left and right top hats off. I also marked them so we don't get confused and I marked the bodies because they are also mattered. But what happened was since they had them switched, here's a left one for example. You can see how it's offset and they only go in a certain way. So it'll go in like, where is it? Wait, I messed up. This is the right side. Wait, yeah, never mind. This is a right, ignore the L. You could see when you put them in, they'll fit and the camber adjustment is closer to the inside of the shock body so you can add camber. But since they were on the wrong side and it came out of the left side or the opposite side, when you put it in, it did this where the camber adjustment was kind of not straight. It tilted forward, messing with caster two. And then on top of that, it was adding more positive camber than negative camber. So not that big of a deal. We just took the four Allen keys off for the top hats and we're gonna switch them to the proper place and we'll keep going. We just finished up the front. It was all pretty straightforward. It's just connecting a bunch of bolts. So top hats are good. We had to flip them, but it's fine. We got the little stance socks on, so Raymond is protected from the elements we don't have in California. Sway bar end links are in, and pretty much everything's buttoned up. Uh, brake line, ABS sensor. Now we're going to move on to the rear, where we're going to be swapping the coilovers and installing the PVM lowers. And to do that, first, let me go under here. Oh my god, this fucking big ass exhaust is in the way. Alright, first what we're going to do is take out the lower arm because it's in the way of taking the coilover out. So we're going to unbolt it from probably the sway bar end link first to get it out of the way. And then after that we're going to unbolt the coilover, and then the knuckle, and then the subframe right where is it? there. And then the arm should just come out and after that we can swap the coilovers. Raymond got the coilover bolt out and the bolt for the lower control arm that goes to the knuckle but before he takes it out fully we put a jack here because once you undo that bolt it actually puts a lot of force on this lower control arm and it could shoot down really hard so make sure if you guys are doing this to put a jack on the lower control arm before you let this go and everything should go smoothly all right we got a dilemma we can't get this bolt out and we've been struggling we tried messing with the jack now Raymond is going to go ahead and unbolt the bolt on the inside where it connects to the subframe to try to get the arm to move a little bit so we can wiggle this bolt out and then we should be able to get it out but yeah we're not sure what's going on and also the bolt on here on this side of the control arm i cannot get in frame because i can't find it but basically it hits the knuckle so we might have to unbolt more stuff to get it out if not we're just going to keep trying to wiggle it and get it out but we'll see Keep going, Raymond. This shit barely on the fucking jack stand. Oh hell no. 
Raymond was struggling, so he told Big Daddy to step in to, um, to break the bolt loose. So I got it loose, and now I'm gonna take it out. Let's see if this fucking control arm flies on me or not. Wow, I thought the arm was gonna drop down. The bolt just came out, look. I was expecting it to go boom and just fucking drop the arm down. It's already on coilovers and it's already like kind of low. There's not that much like tension on the arm, but. Maybe I'd... No, every day I'm here, there's go. always a package getting delivered. Uh -oh. Fucking Big Daddy had to step in because Raymond's a bitch, but arm's out. This is a bitch. Now I'm dirty. I'm supposed to be cameraman. Now we got Marcus cameraman. He's camera owner. So Raymond is taking the bolts off for the top hat right now. To get to it, you need to take the trunk apart and it's hidden. Where is it? Right. Oh, it's hidden right there. It's one bolt, two bolts. And then we could take the coilover out since it's already unbolted from the lower control arm. So while he's unbolting it from the inside of the trunk, I'm gonna go ahead and hold these dirty coilovers. I didn't even think about that. So they don't fall on the ground. So somebody could buy them. Oh! I almost died. I almost died for the shitty ass car. Damn. What the fuck is just a control arm? Oh yeah, fucking drop that shit. So we got the lower control arms out. We got his blown BC coilovers out, or mint if you're buying them. And now we're gonna put his stance coilovers in after we set the height and preload and everything, just like we did to the front by comparing it to the BCs that came out and just setting them the, like exactly the same. Hopefully the height is the same after, if not, it's not big, that big of a deal. And then we'll throw on his PBM arms. For settings, I pretty much just measured what the stock ones were at and matched them from the most outer hole here on the Heim to this hole here and just set them at the same length. Hopefully that means they'll be at the same amount of camber. If not, he's going to get out of alignment either way, right? So yeah. Hey, the alignment? I just hella dark. Ooh, like yeah. that. It's so bright. My phone? Why is it brighter than mine? Oh my god, this guy is. I got it. Is it in yet? Yep. Look at that. You got Where the mallet? Mallet. You looking. All right, you're in, you're in. It's just not rose gold no more. That shit chopped. All right, let me see. All right. Thank you, Mark, for recording. Yo. So, we're done with the back. As you guys can see, the stance are in. The PVM lowers are in. And now all we got to do is put the wheels on. It's pretty dark right now, so you guys can't really see anything. So even if we wanted to show the car, it's pretty hard to show it. But yeah, we're all bundled up here. We figured out the top hat situation. The coils are on here. Um, let me get a light. Okay, one thing I also forgot to mention is we replaced his front tie rods with uh, Megan ones for more angle in the past. We did record it. We never used the footage, so you guys are going to see that right now. But thank you guys for watching. And... Yeah, see you guys soon. Bye. Victory run to Chick fil A. How do you shit? Oh, you can't, bro. Okay, that didn't sound good. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Victory run to Chick fil A delayed. They closed in like five minutes. Why'd you go back up? Bitch, that shit's hella low. You sound like a bitch. Where? <laughs> what, the fuck? what the fuck was that? <laughs> Don't go back up after that. There you go. <laughs> Don't hit the Mustang though, it's right behind you. Are we actually stuck? This is tilting. Oh! <laughs> Not working. Hold on. Dude, a fucking burnout. Bitch.
Wait, just put a ramp under the wheel. What you do to my ramp? <laughs> Wait, look at this. <laughs> look at the ramp. <laughs> God damn it. Oh shit, this shit sound kind of crazy. It sounds like a fucking spaceship. Thank you. Let's go.